Welcome to the Floridaville Express. This show is based on my popular podcast, The Floridaville. And in order to expand the, our reach, we are offering you this condensed show. It has all the elements Floridaville audience members have come to love, but we have expanded our distinguished speakers to include anyone with a Florida connection or anyone that has an impact on our Sunshine State. I'm Rosanna Catalano, an attorney, a business consultant, and the owner and founder of Rocket Ship Consultants, a strategic communications firm. Joining me today, of course, is Gene Curtin, an attorney, mediator, and the business partnerships director for Rocket Ship Consultants. And in the background, you don't see her tonight, but running this live show is Joy Toodle, also an attorney, a content creator, and the operations director for Rocket Ship. Our guests tonight are professional makeup artist Lisa Davis and professional photographer Jennifer Powell. Lisa's the makeup artist to we another- can't hear you, Jean. Can you so hear me now? Our guests tonight are professional makeup artist Lisa Davis and professional photographer Jennifer Powell. Lisa is the makeup artist to our governor, Ron DeSantis, as well as the first lady, Casey DeSantis, as well as the secretary of state, Laurel Lee, and many other public officials. Lisa and Jennifer have teamed up and opened a studio where clients can get their makeup done along with a spray tan uh, before having professional photos taken. Welcome, 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 Lisa and Jennifer. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, we're super excited. I can't hear you as well. Can you hear me, ladies? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it might just be me. So yeah, let me see if I can take care of that real quickly. I um, wanted to ask you if you can tell us a little bit, Lisa, about your background and tell us more about the business you and Jennifer have created. Sure. Well, um, I actually started my business in direct selling when my children were young. It was a perfect fit for me because I wanted to be able to have flexibility, have control over my time and work around my family life. And so I joined a beauty company about 16 years ago. I was with them for 12 years. I was a top income earner in that company for more than 12 years. And um, Jen and I actually met because we went to a social media boot camp together. I was learning how to create my own brand apart from my company, which I think is super important to have multiple streams of income and to brand yourself, not just the company that you represent. And at the time I was just representing this company, I was selling their makeup and of course I was doing really well with it, but I needed to be able to differentiate for my customers between this company and who I was as a makeup artist. And that was where Image by Lisa was born. We learned a lot about um, how to create value for people at that class and I really ran with it. Um, finally, um, I built Image by Lisa and my company went out of business, which is a great lesson to everybody that you should have multiple streams of income and not have all of your eggs in one basket, which is something that I've learned the hard way because I lost a lot through that um, shutdown. I was a um, very high ranking executive with the company. I lost over a thousand consultants and um, a six figure income. And so I had to rebuild from scratch, um, but Backing up, Jen and I met, she was competing for Mrs. Florida, Miss Tallahassee, Mrs. USA. Um, I ended up doing her makeup during that time and we connected and we have, we still have such a wonderful connection because we are aligned on pretty much everything. Um, we're both executors, we're both um, uh, brand builders, we're both um, really passionate about empowering people, not just with what we do, but with teaching them how to um, do what we do, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And um, we partnered after that class to offer photography where we would um, bring everything together, which was a new concept in this area at the time. Nobody was doing that, where we provided the hair, we provided the makeup and the photography all at one time, and then we expanded it. So it used to be just headshots. Then we moved into boudoir. There's a headshot, mm -hmm. yep. Um, we moved into boudoir um, a few years ago and we fell in love with boudoir and helping women just love themselves and feel comfortable. They walk in nervous, they leave empowered. And then we expanded even more, which I'm sure we'll get to in just a moment with opening our new studio, which is an all-inclusive boutique in the heart of Tallahassee where we offer it all. So you don't have to go to three different places when you're getting headshots. You just can come to one place. Mm -hmm. Great. Can you hear me now? 
Yes, I hear you now. I hear Perfect. everyone now. So it might have been me. I don't know. And I apologize for that. I'm like, oh, look, look at who started all this trouble. It was me, I think. <laughs> uh, Jennifer, you were Mrs. Florida 2018 and Mrs. United States Continental 2019. Cheers. What, <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn from being in front of the camera where you were very much in the spotlight? So I was challenged to do um, a pageant. I was not, I didn't grow up in pageantry. I was overweight most of my life, not comfortable in my skin. Um, and so losing weight and kind of finding myself in my mid thirties, um, almost 40 this year, Lisa. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was challenged to do the pageant and really didn't realize what was on the other side and what I would learn from it. Um, and it was actually really magical. I feel like I really kind of stepped into my shoes and got comfortable in my skin. And it really allowed me to be on the opposite side, how women feel when they come in and when they do a boudoir session with me, they're nervous. And what do I, what if I'm not perfect and how do I pose? And I'm not beautiful like the magazines. And I realized that, um, I could be her, I could feel like her. Um, so it really allowed me to start connecting with my clients in a different way. It allowed me to hear them and hear their story and be um, really compassionate, have empathy that this is a huge thing for these women to be comfortable with me and really let their guard down and allow themselves for me to capture them and the light that they want to be captured in. So I think it was really a huge learning experience for me. And I think it really kind of led us into this journey too, where Lisa and I really started to evolve and, and grow together. Um, we always aligned with the same mission. Like we really wanted to empower women, but that took it to the next level. So now when my clients come, they, we, I mean, we have story time and <laughs> we connect and I really understand what the woman is trying to capture and we become friends. And um, I think that that's my job is to make them feel loved and beautiful, just like they are. Love that. Now for each of you, how do you stay inspired and juggle all your businesses and your responsibilities on the home front? Go Ooh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> That's a tough one. And I'll say, um, you know, I've got, I'm a, I'm a regional vice president with Arbon now. I have the image by Lisa business. And then we have so many offerings that sometimes it can be hard to um, toggle back and forth. And that could be something we could speak to about, like, we have so much to sell. How much do we give value to be able to have that exchange? But um, we have th those brands. Um, and then my husband travels full time. And I have four children and Jen has two children. Um, and so we're both doing pickup schedules and all of the sports and everything. And I would say for me, the biggest thing is creating systems that I put in place to make sure that everything's covered. It could be an app on my phone. It could be the housekeeping like what Jen had. Um, anything that does not relate to what I specifically do, and I call it making it rain. Like I know that there are certain activities that I do that make it rain. And those are the things that I had to really focus on. Those are my areas of genius. Anything else that pays me any less gets delegated, period. You know, and so I don't clean up after myself, <laughs> even though I do love to clean. I love to clean my studio. I love to clean my house. It's, you know, it's something I enjoy. It doesn't pay me as much as my make it rain activities do. And so I've had to learn over the years, not just to put the systems in place in like little ways, but in big ways too, by delegating out and basically paying for my time back. And so now that I've been able to slowly pay for my time back, I'm able to delegate, 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 delegate to where I'm only working in the areas of genius that make it rain. I would say to stay inspired is we're lucky because we get to be around inspiring people. Um, yeah, I posted a session today with a woman who's doing magical things in our community. We're surrounded by women that have the same exact juggle and struggle that we do. But when you come together and you realize like, hey, I'm just like you and you're just like me, but we can do this and we're a team. Um, it's a really a blessing that Lisa and I get to work together in that capacity. And then really keeping inspired by what you put in your mind is how you think. Um, I don't listen to a lot of TV and radio. I listen to motivational speaking. Yeah. Um, we read a lot of things books. That grow, help yeah. us grow. And that's what keeps us inspired to constantly be thinking like, bigger? How can I be better? How can I grow personally? How can I grow in my profession? Um, so I think that's how we really stay motivated to like, 
we can't even keep up with ourselves, honestly. <laughs> we're like, what's next, friend? What's next? Well, because somebody comes with an idea or you come right. with an idea, we're like, okay, let's execute. And then you have to figure it out along the way. That's I'll, right. I'll, you know, so. <laughs> well, Jennifer, I was wondering, you know, where you started with your photography business and how you've been evolving through time. So maybe you can let our viewers know how you've been handling that. So I've been shooting photography for 12 years. Um, it started out as like, oh, I think I want to be a photographer. I loved the arts. I grew up in the arts. My father was a master chef. My mom was in design. So I was always around creative environments. So photography, I feel like came naturally for an eye for it. Um, but I, I actually fell in love with it when I had my children. So it really was just inspired by that. And that started to grow with families. Um, and then I actually shot weddings for 10 years and then that evolved into growing and saying, you know what, I really want to inspire more women. How can I grow my business? And I believe that you are kind of given different roads and paths for a reason. Um, I don't shoot weddings anymore. Very, very few if I do any. Um, and it was an amazing ride and it's okay to leave the things behind that we outgrow and then to step into new roles. I mean, we love boudoir and headshots and I get to grow and learn each time I do it. Um, so definitely making sure that you don't stay in one niche. I think that we grow as humans and your business should grow with you. Lisa, Lisa what, what are you most passionate, passionate about? about? Um, I would say probably duplicating what I'm able to do. And I love to make people feel and look great, as does Jen. But it goes further than that, meaning I put makeup on people. If they walk out, there's nothing they can do to duplicate it. I have a passion for teaching other people to do what I do. And that's something that we learned a long time ago when Jen and I went to our first like social media boot camp. And that was big back, back when social media was really getting hot and that's how people started to market themselves on social media. And I found that I actually enjoyed the teaching aspect because they talked about how do you give away value? It's you teach people to do what you do. And so I'm, you know, almost 43. I have a very fit lifestyle. I'm very passionate about healthy living, not just makeup. And so on my social media platforms, I talk about how I do it because it seems overwhelming for people who have a busy life, have several jobs, you know, have their families and their kids and stuff like that. So how do we, teach people how to do what we do. Well, we give them the little tips, the tricks, the hacks, the things that they may not have ever thought of. And so I think about it on social media as teaching people what they didn't know they needed to know. And that is my passion. So I love to teach and I've had to dial it in over the years and really evolve to go, okay, what's a small concept I can teach about the brow today or the lashes today or how I whiten my teeth or how I've, shaped my body this way or how I prepare ahead to make sure I have my meals with me or how I juggle the schedules. Every little thing that I do, I think this could be helpful to somebody else, some other mom, because that's mostly my my following is mostly, you know, middle aged moms, just like Jen, um, to help them be able to duplicate what it is that we've arrived at, which is not a balance, but a, a best way to navigate it, like the hacks and the systems and the automation that I use that helps me live my healthiest, most beautiful lifestyle. I want to help them duplicate that. So that teaching has been a way that I've been able to feel, feel fulfilled is just helping others get it. I just love that. Um, we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to ask Lisa and Jennifer for some additional business advice. At Rocketship Consultants, our mission is to take your organization to the next level. Our team develops strategic communication plans that help entrepreneurs, corporations, associations, and individuals reach new heights. Our consulting team is made up of attorneys with additional experience in journalism, public relations, politics, broadcasting, and advocacy. Let us help you take that dream you have for a podcast or video show and make it into a reality. We can create networking opportunities, educational forums, and interactive conferences to spread your message. Let our team provide you with fresh ideas and inspiration. Rocketship Consultants offers a variety of services, so check out our website at rocketshipconsultants.com. Take off. 
with Rocketship Consultants and launch your organization with us. Welcome back. We're speaking with professional photographer Jennifer Powell and professional makeup artist Lisa Davis. Lisa, I, you know, we've talked a bit today about branding. So how did you build your image by Lisa brand? And how did you and Jen partner to build your brand together? Um, well, it kind of goes back to what I just talked about, which is giving value. I learned a long time ago in business that you have to have a give, give, get perspective when it comes to what I do, which is sales and service, because I sell makeup and skincare, but I also offer a service. And so I've had to remember that throughout my entire brand building, it's about teaching, 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 then asking for the sale, teaching, 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 then asking for the sale again. And sometimes I can feel when it's a little out of balance because right now we have a lot of offerings because we offer so many different things now with our business mm -hmm. and I can go, oh, I got to go back to teaching. <laughs> and so it's, it's really about giving value and also being very consistent with it. So I came up with a concept back when we went to the boot camp, and I did Makeup Tip Monday. So if you follow me on Instagram and Image by Lisa, every Monday I teach some type of small makeup tip, which is expanded now into more like um, fitness, nutrition, mom hacks, life hacks for living your best, healthiest lifestyle. And then I also do about half of it is makeup tips. I put a lot of stuff on my stories that's helpful. I give away my secrets, okay? And I think that's key. Even my sister was in, in business for herself and she taught classes about what she did. And she's like, oh, if I teach them this, then they won't come to me when they need it. And I said, no, the opposite's what's gonna happen. If we give away all the info and all the knowledge and all the inspiration that we have inside of us, we're gonna stay top of mind and then people come to you when they need that. So. Even though I've taught people how to do makeup, I may have even done a one-on-one -on -one lesson with them. <laughs> they're still going to come back, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're still going to come back to me when they need to get their makeup done because they're never going to be able to duplicate it like I can because I'm the expert. So I've learned to be the expert, but to give away as much value, give away as much knowledge, share all my secrets. Like tonight on my Instagram, I posted all of my favorite lashes and why and which ones you should pick based on your eye. And, I'm, and, and some other makeup artists might look at that and go, oh, I would never share what I use. And like, that's my secret. You know, that's why they would come to me. And I'm like, no, but that's why they come to me, you know, because I'm giving that value to people. So that's how I built my brand. And then how we built our brand was slowly we started just collaborating, which that's huge. I think partnering with other like minded women, there's nothing intimidating about a strong woman. When I look at Jen, she I would just be like, oh. She can do it. I can do it. And that's really the approach that we should have as businesswomen, right? And so she inspired me and we, we started collaborating on projects. And then we would continually talk as we were doing projects together and go, well, what if we did this? And what if we did that? And, oh, my gosh, let's, let's what if we think about this. So recently, we just started doing um, posh parties for teen and tween girls where they can come and get their makeup lessons done. They do their makeup. It's so swanky. <laughs> it is so swanky with all of the like little pastries and beautiful flowers and they get their makeup done and then they go up and have a pro sh um, photo shoot with Jen and they get all of their, their gallery and they get a little photo book to go with it. And so we're constantly challenging each other to come up with good ideas and then how to execute those ideas. But it, it happens slowly. So I would encourage you that if you have an idea, just know that as long as you're moving the needle forward every single day, that's all that matters, you know, in the direction of whatever it is you're building. So for us, it was a brand. We slowly grew, slowly grew until we were at the point we're at now. You know, you've you done, done my makeup and, and I've watched your tips, tips and I and still, I still would go to you to have to do my makeup. <laughs> I did my makeup tonight and was like, I really should have Lisa do my makeup. Yeah. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> People will return to the expert. Yes. Jennifer, what do you think are some of the most important pieces of advice um, you could give to others when they're dreaming of and building their businesses? Well, I think most people don't execute their dreams. I think that's the first thing. They're fearful of like, what do I do? What if it's not right? What if my Instagram doesn't look like Lisa's? What if I'm not a brand expert? What if I can't do all of these things? Um, you got to just go. Yeah. You got to jump. I mean, and really, I think that's been the key to our success over 
the years. We've had many failures and falls along the way, but that's part of business. You have to be able to be willing to fall to succeed. Um, and so my best advice would be jump. Why and growing? If, right. <laughs> if not now, then when? Hello. Um, so us opening our business together and having a brick and mortar is a huge undertaking, a lot of risk. And it was in the middle of a shutdown. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what do you think? Let's, Let's do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going to happen? We're going to fall and we're going to get back up. You know, really, we knew that you have the work ethic. The key to success is are you willing to put in, like Will Smith says, I'm willing to die on that treadmill. That is Lisa and I's work ethic. That's really how we live every single day. We bring our family into our business. Our kids go along. They will know how to survive in the world. And it's not always just about talent. It's about how hard are you willing to work. And that's really where I would say is the best advice. Work hard. You can still play hard. But you have to be willing to fail. And you will succeed. Very, very wise words of advice. How have you, you mentioned it very briefly, how have you ladies had to pivot in response to COVID? <laughs> so I think Jen is so right that it's, it's well, first of all, fear. You know, I think that a lot of people are ridden with the fear right now because of the, un, um, the unknown with regards to what's happening right now. But also on the flip side of what's happened with COVID has been a lot of opportunity that mm -hmm. I think we miss. And so I've had to shift my mind with everything into gratitude and go, what have we learned through this pandemic? I think it's changed our culture as a whole, meaning more is going to, where more of us are going to be working from home. We're spending less money eating out. We're spending less money on clothing. We're traveling less. We're, we're maybe able to pay more attention to the important things in life, like being home and being with family. We've returned to the kitchen. We're cooking more. All these things is what I'm thinking about. But in business, one of the positive things, at least for us, has been, well, for me and my Armand business has been that the digital marketplace is open. Amazon is soaring. People are going online more than ever. They're ordering online. And so the digital marketplace is replacing the brick and mortar. It's, I always say brick and mortar to click and order. You know, even though we have a brick and mortar, mm -hmm. having a digital marketplace and a storefront that's 24 seven is super important. So I saw the shift actually growth. And it gave me more time to do those things and right. to execute those things. And the ideas that we had, we were able to actually, since I wasn't putting makeup on people, work in those capacities. So I think it's seeing the opportunity and not seeing what I can't do during the shutdown. Um, and so we used the time to start something new, learn some new things, offer some new offerings and shift. I will say my business used to be very belly to belly. You know, when I was building my MLM direct selling business, we did parties. That's how I grew my business. It shifted into social media. Now it's content creation. And just now it's shifting again because of this pandemic. You got to just ride the wave. Whatever mm -hmm. you're thrown, you got to shift and be quick to move in that direction. So right now, TikTok's big. It's like, I know I got to learn TikTok. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, you know what? A 43 year old can learn TikTok, you know, and because, so I know that doesn't have as much to do with, with COVID, but it has to do with the shifts, the change, the movement, you know, we just got to go up. Oh, okay. Well, the market's shifting, got to go there. Really, we're two in the business I have to add is everything that we've added was because of COVID. Right. So you can't go to the skating rink for birthday parties. Well, hey, guess what? You can come here because our parties are under 10 and under. That's right. We have the perfect spot for you. You have to build your brand and you have to build your photography platform because that's what people are looking at. So I feel like we look for we, the opportunity. We did. We looked for the opportunity and it's been super successful. Now, if our audiences wanted to get in touch with you, how can they reach you? For me, social is probably best. I have a website at imagebylisa.com. So that's all bridal, makeup, you know. But if you really want to learn what I do, <laughs> then go to Image by Lisa on Instagram. That's the place to get to know me, see the backstory. You get to see my crazy kids, all of that. <laughs> and I'm Jennifer Powell Photography on all the platforms as well and JenniferPowellPhotography.com. Well, thank you both for being here tonight. We are so delighted to have you and learn about how you all are building your business through branding and social media. And it's very creative. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you for having you. us. That wraps up our ep episode of the Floridaville Express tonight. Please be sure to tune in Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern to watch the shows live. On our next episode, we'll be interviewing the CEO of Busy Kid. 
BusyKid is a financial literary system that helps children develop basic yet very important money management routines they will need as adults. The Busy Kid app is a 2020 National Parenting Product Award winner and has been featured in the national media, including Forbes. I can't wait for that show. My kids love using that app because I can send their allowance to a credit card and they can even purchase stock with their allowance. It's really great stuff. So I'm very excited about our show next week. Now, have you been looking for a way to expand the reach of your company's brand? Then look no further. We can create a video show like this one for you or you can team up with us to sponsor this show. Sponsorships create long-term awareness and positive brand associations. They increase your company's credibility and build prestige. Reach out to us for more information. Good night. <laughs>